Beer looking right. Hat on deck. Black, I have a little stain right there. But all in all, I think I'm looking good. And action. What is up YouTube? Isaiah Barlow here, and today I got a couple of things to talk about. And the very first thing is, guys, that it's official. I have changed my name. I am now the death of a sneakerhead. I am no longer the common hype beast guy that you guys have seen before. It's gone. It was a great moment for this YouTube, but it's gone. It's it, it it didn't die, but it died in me. And I'll still love shoes, and I'll still collect them, and I'll still do shoe reviews, and I'll still do reviews on hype, hype clothing, on the things I pick up and everything. But honestly, I'm going to be talking to you guys about more real life stuff. And for that reason, guys, I'm not going to be just talking to you guys about shoes, but culture, hip hop culture, school, all of it. I'm going to be talking to you guys about that and sharing that piece of my life with y'all personally. So for that reason, guys, the new name is now officially here, as you guys already see, but Isaiah B. TV because I am Isaiah Barlow, a director, producer, and a creator, and I'm here to share that with you guys here on the YouTube scene. Probably make a segment on Common Hype Beats every time I do a shoe review wherever. Like, bring him back. Like, kind of like, well, yeah, probably like a skit or something like that. That would probably be a good idea, Isaiah. Good job, Common Hype Beats. I like the way you think. I have a huge clothing haul to give you guys when I get back home. That is very, very true. But this other topic, the second one that I did not want to talk to you guys about. But I had to because my brother mentioned it and then I had thought about it and now I'm like, yeah, I got to talk about this thing right here. And what the heck is going on with my boy Lonzo Ball's, or Lonzo Ball's shoe deal slash big baller brand shoe. I'm sorry. Problem number one. Let me discuss to you with you guys a little bit of a personal thing I have with the black community and our fathers, okay? Now, here's the thing. I believe that him, like Lonzo Ball, LeVar Ball, and the other Ball, I don't know all the Ball kids, but long story short, I believe they have a good dad in, like, as in pushing them and promoting them. I think he has done a good job. As a father, hey, boom, you've done a wonderful job, and I will not knock him one time for that. I am not knocking him at all. He is a good dad for promoting his sons flat out and supporting his sons. I think that is what a father is supposed to do. So as a black man to another black man, I say, good job. I think, is it LeVar? Is that his name? I think that's the dad's name, LeVar. I, whichever, you know, to the dad, dad ball, I respect you. What I do not support. And let me go and give you guys a little bit of detail about some a little pet people of mine with the black community though and what we sometimes do a little bit. See me growing up, I was an athlete and it was wonderful. Like being an athlete and a student athlete is great and everything. Playing basketball, football, ran track, it was wonderful. Like great times, wonderful times. One thing I had to recognize though was that I was okay. I was not that good. Like I was all right at basketball and plus I'm not competitive. So I knew I couldn't go to the league for that reason. Not saying that your son's not going to go to the league because the, the boy is going to the league. Like he's going to the league. I do not have any doubt that he's not going to the league. But here's the thing. Do not give me that crap when you say, oh my gosh, he's the next Michael. He's the next, you know, da da da, best thing in the world. He's going to be the best player in the league when he gets there. All this, that, and the third. Take yourself and shoot for the stars. I get that. But do not put all your eggs in one basket and say he's the best thing since sliced bread. Like, don't. Seriously, I do not like that. You know why? Because he can be the next Derrick Rose. Honestly. There's a lot of people who are decent in college and explode in the league. And there's a lot of people who are great in college and do terrible in the league. And there's multiple examples of this. And if I wanted to go through some of the Duke players, because, I mean, I'm a Carolina fan. Shout out to us winning the championship, by the way. Nolan Smith, bam, problem. Uh, Chris Leitner, like, where is he today? Like, Siri, where is Chris Leitner? Sorry, I couldn't find Chris Leitner in your contacts. Like, honestly, and then I'm not saying Andrew Wiggins isn't that good. Like, Andrew Wiggins, I still think is a wonderful player, and I'm still trying to wait for them, the Timberwolves, to get a championship. But at the same time, Back in the day, when y'all remember when he was at high school, we were all saying that he was going to be the next LeBron. And, I mean, what's going on? But yet again, I still respect that he's being a dad and that he's being respectful and supportive of his children. Problem number two, let's go to the shoe. Boom, this looks like a Kobe. I'm not saying that 
every shoe's gotta look different. Okay, like here's the thing, you take inspiration by a lot of things, so I'm not gonna knock it for looking like a Kobe. Like, I'm really not gonna knock the shoe for looking like a Kobe. What I am going to knock is that one, it's $4.95. Okay, now I understand you do not have a factory to make shoe molds. So I get that. So like, here's the thing. It's $4.95 for a reason because you can't probably afford anything lesser than that. It probably was a lot of money just to make the shoe, one of them. Bam, like it was a lot of money, chances are, just to start with that right there. So for my mans to be making a basketball shoe that's $4.95, number one, $4.95, and then also making slides that are $2.20, Saying that they're better than Gucci and all these great brands, which you gotta hype yourself up. I'm not saying that you don't. You gotta hype yourself up. You gotta, you know, promote yourself a little bit. To say these things in the basketball market just to be like, eh? Like, it's, it's not, I'm really not impressed. I'm like, okay, it's, it's a slide. It's a basketball shoot. Don't try to make it more than it is. It is what it is. Him even tweeting out if, like, and let's, boom, get the tweet right here. If you're not a big baller, that's why you're not getting big ball. Like that, that statement, I'm like, bro, you're, I understand what you're doing, but that then comes off really like mm, boisterous and annoying. Like it's just like, all right, like I now I really don't want to buy it. Then it's a pre-order system, so now you're not even getting the shoe till November, okay? And then of course there's gonna be issues with the whole pre-order system where it's like, oh my gosh, like we're making it, but we didn't get your size right, so we're gonna try to do it with something else. There's gonna be a bunch of problems that lie within this. So then there's gonna be a bunch of issues there. You are upset that, yes, you did not get a Nike Adidas deal. I get that, or Jordan deal, whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? You are upset that you did not get it, so you went and go made your own brand. Respect to you for that, again. But, what I can't, like, I don't know what you were surprised for. Like, Nike excommunicated Kanye West because they're like, oh, uh, we're not going to give you creative vision. Like, I'm not saying Nike's terrible, but I'm saying, yet again, they literally said, Kanye, boom, we're cutting you out. Like, we're okay with you leaving because, hey, you're... Kind of like Kanye is loud and obnoxious. Adidas said, We're giving you creative reign. You don't have credibility to your name yet. Sometimes you gotta build up that credibility to then further yourself on later on and then be able to talk. You're not in the league yet. Your son's not in the league yet. Your other son is in middle school, high school. Anything can happen. So you're kind of a, uh, well, if you're doing this as a liability to us, we're not going to take the chance on you. And especially that he's been kind of loud mouthing and doing a lot to kind of get his face out there. Basically what happens is, like, you don't trust, we don't trust you. We can't put our trust in you. So they didn't give him a deal for these reasons. And so then you go off and make your own shoe, which is okay. But then to price it higher than Nike and expect for the general public, after you're not having credibility, to then buy it, you have to be on the 76ers, win the MVP, win, let's say, Rookie of the Year, and also the championship on the 76ers. Like, then I'd be like, wow, like, you really are better than everybody else in the world. But until that happens, bro, I'm not buying your shoe. For the people who are going to buy it and buy those 220 slides, for what reason are you going to buy a, sh a slide for 220? Like, I'm sorry, like, even Gucci slides, like, people, oh, I got Gucci slides. Like, okay, bro, you bought a slide. Like, your toes are cold. I don't understand why you bought a Gucci slide. But if you want to buy a 220, like, regular slides that you could probably get from Ross for, like, $20, be my guest. More power to you. Like, I'm really confused that like, like this slide looks so much like a regular butt slide. Like, I am really not impressed about any of this. So, that is my opinion. I hate to break some hearts and probably hurt some people's feelings, but that's what that was BTV is for. So, if you guys like my segment or any of my opinions, if you guys agree with any of my points or disagree, disagree, I will not battle y'all, but I do understand your opinion and I will definitely listen to y'all down in the comment section below. And also, if you like this video, please hit a like for your boy and also hit that subscribe button and that bell notification for all of my videos. This is Isaiah BTV and Isaiah Ball signing out for you guys. Peace.